Uh, just a quick question on uh, Hyung Son Min. He's here. What's his state of mind after the Everton game? And uh, he seemed pretty distraught after the uh, injury to Andre Gomes. Uh, is he ready to play tomorrow? Oh, uh, I think uh, everyone, all, all the the people, all that the um, uh, players from Tottenham, um, the staff, uh, we feel so sorry. We are so happy the news that uh, everything wa was well. And his surgery to Andre Gomez in today on on England. Uh, we send again our best wishes and hope uh, recovery soon. That is the most important. Uh, yeah, but Sony is okay. Sony was uh, the bastard after the the action. I think was a mix of everything. Was a mix of uh, the injury. Was a mix of the red car. Uh, the situation of the game was an emotional moment for everyone. And of course, uh, after now uh, a few days, everyone is again is uh, is available to to play. Um, he's in a very good uh, he's in he's in a very good way. Um, I think he's uh, of course he's, he feels sorry like uh, everyone, but I think he's uh, he's in a good uh, he's in a good uh, form. Okay. John, do you want a question here? We're going to go here first. Thank you. Amrissi, obviously yes, we've just heard news that the um, suspension's been upheld. I mean, that's obviously great news for him. What's his reaction when he heard the news about that? No, I think it was, uh, was good for everyone. I think it's fair. The most important that's fair. What we cannot change now is the result, because in the moment that this situation happened, it was one nil for us, and to play with 10 men during more than or nearly 15, 20 minutes, I think... Uh, was the key to, to draw the game. What we cannot change that now is the result. But uh, of course, it's a, it's a fair thing that happened uh, from the Premier League. And, and of course, um, it's good for him and it's good for the team. OK, take a question from John back there. Raise your hand. Yeah, perfect. Hi, Maritia. Hi. Were you always confident that the red card would be overturned? Uh, I, I was confident. I think we all we were confused after the game. I was talking with different people and, and of course, with the, with the referee too. But it was a little bit confused, the situation, but now I think it's, it's complete, uh, complete fair that um, on the end uh, it's not going to be suspended. The only, the only problem that we have is that we not check uh, like I told you, the VAR is to check this type of action. Um, that was so obvious and clear that never was a red card. But what we cannot change now is the result, because I think it was one nil for us and it was a very comfortable uh, game. Um, but to play with 10, uh, I think that uh, opened, um, of course, the, the game for, for them. And on the end, we miss uh, now on the table two points. But um, the good news is, OK, it's going to be available, Sony. Yep, we'll take a question here. Mauricio, your last game in Belgrade was uh, kind of beginning of an era. It was your first season here. The, the team didn't click yet. The game was very poor. And then within a month, you started playing really beautifully. And Spurs had a few wonderful years. And now it feels like the end of an era. Am I wrong? Hope yes. Hope yes. You, you, you don't want to, to finish your job at the Spurs anytime soon? Hope no. <laughs> I still have, uh, we have three or more contracts. Hope to, to finish the, the contract. OK, so any more questions? Over here. We'll go start with Dan, then we'll move to Charlie. Dan, do you want to put your hand up? Thank you. Hi, Marie. So Hi. we know Vertonghen... Sorry, Tammy. We know Vertonghen, uh, Lloris and Lamella are injured, but has anyone else not travelled who isn't injured? Yes, you are, I think you are going to see. Yes. Can, can you let us know? Sorry? Can you let us know who they are? No. Yeah, yeah possible. I need to provide the squad or what? It's up to you. Mm. I can provide it to you afterwards. It's probably easier. Yeah. Okay. If you yeah. prefer, yeah. I'll give it to you afterwards. It's easier because then I've got an accurate picture. That's fine. 
Do you want to go to... Can you say either way on Serge Aurier, Mauricio? Sorry? Can you say if Serge Aurier is here? No. He's not here. OK, go to Charlie, please. Thank you. So are you saying he's not here? Yeah. Yeah. No, so, here, no. Uh, no, no. And, and just wondering <laughs> what, why that was. Is that uh, in the aftermath of Sunday? Sorry? Is that because of the events of Sunday that he's not here? No. Decisions from the coach, from me. <laughs> so on form? Sorry? Because of his form? No. Because I think we have a big squad and I think everyone can play and how um, I manage the, the, the squad on the end is, is like always. When play, play. When the player no play, are out of the squad. Um, depend of the decision. Okay, because from the manager, is, is, uh, I don't know what I ca can answer. Yeah, you know, fine. I don't know. Uh, Mauricio. No, but, but sure that we are going to play with eleven and seven on the on the bench. Don't worry. Uh, Mauricio, Christian Eriksen has been having a bit of a tough time of late, and some of the fans have also been criticising him. Are you hoping he kind of plays through this? Because obviously he's playing a lot of games still. Do you feel he'll play through it? Or? I think the performance of Christian is not different. That I think we are here. We signed five years uh, and a half ago. I think it's not different. His, co his commitment is the same that uh, five years ago. And it's I am happy with him. Um, I think it's not... Um, sometimes we we uh, look too much. Is this uh, the player have four year contract or one year contract? On the end, it's about the commitment. Is maybe player that ha are, are on the last year contract show more commitment than player that uh, have four year more contract? You know that is. But uh, the idea always in football when you pressure situations, it's difficult after to change the mind. But in that case, uh, with Christian, I'm happy. It's when you see Christian um, and you compare with different season, uh, is the, 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 same, the same player. This season, of course, after the, the final and the, um, to play with the national team in middle of June, he got a surgery in his uh, groin. And, of course, the precision wasn't the best precision for him, and always, like all the players, need time to get the, the best uh, the best form. But uh, commitment and and in the way that he is uh, doing, of course, we expect more from everyone, like every single player that we need to improve. But um, yes, I think I am happy with him. Okay, two more questions for the manager. We'll take one here, and last one there. Sorry. Koliko, koliko drugačiju utakmicu očekujete u Beogradu od one koja je bila u Londonu? Koliko mislite da je Crvena zvezda, što rezultati govore iz prošle sezone Lige šampiona, jača pred svojom publikom, pred punim stadionom i koliko bi mogla da vam napravi problema sutra? I think uh, for everyone it's, uh, it's a new stadium to play, new atmosphere, uh, different atmosphere, and, and of course um, all that we hear from uh, from here, I think tomorrow we are going to live a, a great experience. Red Star is a very, very good team. Of course the circumstances that were in London are not going to be here uh, tomorrow. Uh, the, last, uh, the last season we can see um, how Liverpool uh, defeat, the defeat of, of Liverpool here, one of the best teams in Europe. Um, and of course, I think uh, we respect uh, Red Star, we have full respect, we are going to show big respect, but at the same time we, we need to play in our best way, um, uh, being ready to fight because the offer is going to be great. And, and of course, I want to leave the Spain and enjoy the Spain because uh, I hear many things from from this stadium, from the fans here on Red Star, and it's going to be fantastic tomorrow to to be to be there and and, and enjoy, of course. Okay, we're going to take the last question. 
right there. Yeah. Marisi, how uh, important do you feel uh, it is for Spurs to get a result here tomorrow, not just in terms of edging closer to the knockout stages of the Champions League, but also uh, turning around your season, uh, boosting your confidence after what's been a patchy start? Yes, I was. Look, uh, yesterday was uh, one guy that was uh, working in different club uh, around the world, and we were talking. Uh, he said, oh, I'm going to, to tell something that is important to know. He said Juventus. In 2016, he played the final against Barcelona, and they lose the final. And in November, they were in, in Italy, and the table on, on, La Liga, on um, Serie A, I think 14, 13 on the table, in this type of moment, how difficult it is when you lose a, a, a final. And that, that we are talking about Juventus, Juventus, one of the best club. I think it's not to, to say nothing or to put excuse. It's only how difficult it is to manage uh, different things. Uh, we need time, like I always I told you, um, for sure that it's going to be important tomorrow, uh, the three point, because the most important is that we want to, to be on the next stage of the, the Champions League. Um, but of course, for our confidence, I think again Everton, I think was massive a step up. I think until the injury of uh, Andre Gomez, I think we dominate and we um, control the game, and the game was for us the three point that was uh, massive. But when the situation is or the dynamic is how now is, is the most important is to be strong and knowing that we need to work so hard to try. Uh, to turn that dynamic, the ne negative dynamic, and of course it's going to be a big point tomorrow. Um, if we uh, will be capable to win, it's going to be massive for our confidence. Okay, guys, thank you very much. Thank you.